Here is a sample problem on moment of inertia. In an effort to be a star of the halftime show, a major twirls an unusual baton made up of four balls fastened to the ends of a very light rods as shown in the figure. So this one. Each rod is 1.0 meter long. Question. Find the moment of inertia of the baton about an axis perpendicular to the page and passing through the point where the rods cross. Alright, so first, we must remember that in order for us to be able to solve for the moment of inertia of objects that are rotating about an axis of rotation and then the object is outside of the axis of rotation just like these balls right here because the axis of rotation is right here in the middle and then the axis of rotation is at is outside of the objects that we are concerned about so the formula that we are going to utilize is i is equal to mr squared or moment of inertia is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the distance of the object from the axis of rotation and since we are interested in the total moment of inertia of the baton, so that means to say that the um, total moment of inertia, I sub t, is going to be equal to the moment of inertia of the first ball plus the moment of inertia of the second ball plus the moment of inertia of the third ball plus the moment of inertia of the fourth ball. Now, since our axis of rotation is perpendicular to the page and passing through the point where the rods cross so meaning to say it's actually at this point so you could just Im you could just try to put your pe pen on this page here and then the ball pen or your pen is going to be the axis of rotation so to determine the moment of inertia of each object let us now expand i1 would be equal to m1 r1 squared I2 would be equal to M2 R2 squared plus M3 R3 squared for I3. And the moment of inertia of the fourth ball would just be equal to M4 R4 squared. So substituting our values, we will have M1, which is the mass of the first ball, would be equal to 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.20 kilogram multiplied by the distance of this ball from the axis of rotation now since it is mentioned that each rod is one meter long so this is one meter and since the axis of rotation is right there in the middle so meaning to say that the r1 is going to be equal to half of um, the length of the rod so this is equal to 0 0.5 meters and that is our r1 so that's 0 0.5 meter squared plus our m2 is going to be equal to the mass of the second object which is 0 0.3 kilogram multiplied by the distance of that object i'm just going to remove the units so that um it's going so that our solution is going to be concise multiplied by the distance of the second object from the axis of rotation and now since the rod is equal to one meter that means to say that the distance of this ball from the axis of rotation is going to be 0 0.5 meters so let's substitute that 0 0.5 don't forget a square plus m3 now our m3 is 0 0.2 so that's 0 0.2 or 0 0.20 is the same thing times 0 0.5 don't forget a square and our m m4 is 0 0.3 multiplied by the distance of m4 from the axis of rotation which is again 0 0.5 meters don't forget to square it and that means that our total moment of inertia of this baton is equal to 0 0.25 kilogram meter square here's a different scenario this time the major tries spinning her strange baton about the axis o o prime as shown in the figure so this is now the axis of rotation o o prime 
and we are to calculate the moment of inertia of this button about this axis. All right, since we have four objects now, and this is the axis of rotation, so in order for us to calculate the moment of inertia, we will have moment of inertia total would be equal to the moment of inertia of the first ball plus the moment of inertia of the second ball, I2, plus the moment of inertia of the third ball, I3, plus the moment of inertia of the fourth ball, I4. Similarly, we need to expand it. M1 R1 squared plus M2 R2 squared plus M3 R3 squared plus M4 R4 squared. So if we look at M1, M1 has a mass of 0 0.20 kilogram. So we will substitute that 0 0.20 kilogram multiplied by the distance of M1 from the axis of rotation. Now, however, M1 is exactly on the axis of rotation. So meaning to say that the R for M1 is going to be zero because the object is on the axis of rotation. This is the axis of rotation O, O prime, and M1 is right there on the axis of rotation. So the R for M1 is going to be zero squared. Now, moving on to M2. So M2 is this, right? M2 is that, and the mass of M2 is 0 0.30 kilogram. And the distance of M2 from the axis of rotation, so this is the axis of rotation, and therefore M2 is at a distance of 0 0.5 meters from the axis of rotation because it was mentioned on the problem part A that the entire length of the rod is 1 meter. So half of that, that's going to be 0 0.5. This is the axis of rotation, and mass 2 is 0 0.5 meters away from this axis of rotation. So that's going to be our R, 0 0.5 meters. Don't forget to square it. Moving forward, M3 is this object right here, and M3 falls on the axis of rotation. So substituting its mass and radius, we will have 0 0.2. Uh, or 0 0.20, it's the same thing, multiplied by 0 because again, M3 is on the axis of rotation. So if the object is on the axis of rotation, that means to say that its R is 0, so therefore its moment of inertia is going to be 0, and therefore we will be canceling these quantities later. So moving forward, we have M4, which is 0 0.3 kilograms multiplied by the distance of M4 from the axis of rotation. Again, the length of the rod is 1 meter, so the distance of M4 from the axis of rotation is going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 and do not forget to square it so if we look at our terms we could actually cancel i1 because the moment of inertia of the first object is zero since the object is on the axis of rotation as well as i3 that's also equal to zero and it could actually be shown here in our substitution so that means to say that our moment of inertia or the moment of inertia of this button about the axis O, o prime is equal to 0 0.15 kilogram meter square.